Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems. Thanks for tuning in and um, we're going to be answering a question from a fellow poter. Steve asks, Jeff, I've got two 4D batteries with a 1-2 both source selector switch. That might be also be called a 1-2 all source selector switch. These are the big red switches that we see on a lot of boats. They could be black, but most of the time they're red. And they've been around forever. Uh, my GPS is connected to a fuse block, which is connected to the battery switch, right? So those batteries have a common post and the output of battery one or battery two powers the common post on the back of that switch. When I switch from one battery to the other, I get a power blip, which sometimes turns off my GPS. Is there a better way of connecting my GPS? Maybe to unswitch power? Well, by the way, first of all, Steve, thank you for acknowledging unswitch battery power. Very essential difference. If you're ever curious about the concept, we've got conceptual diagrams and it's very key to understand the difference between switch power and unswitch power on a boat. So here we've got my advice on this. When you have a source selector switch, and by the way, those source selector switches over time do age, they're supposed to be called a make before break. Think about the definition here, meaning that when you go from one to two or one to all, the connection between the all and the one is gonna be made. It's like a, a I don't know, a relay race. It's very important, the relay race, that someone gives the baton to someone else and the other person holds it and then the other person lets go, right? So with a source selector switch, you're gonna have a make before break, meaning you're never supposed to lose power as you go from one to both and both to two. It's supposed to be a seamless transition. When we see a power blip like that, it's probably an indication that your battery switch is getting old and the contacts are not perfect. And so that's something you should deal with right away because for example, if that happened when you were changing also your engine is running and your alternator is running, if you lose your alternator connection to a battery when your engine is running, you're gonna blow up your alternator. And I've seen that on some boats where they've lost three alternators, three alternators in a row, and every time it was because of a bad source selector switch. So a source selector switch is this thing that we take for granted, but they do fail over time. And if yours is acting up and you lose power when you're changing from one to both or one to two, then it's probably meaning that the switch needs to be changed and those switches aren't all that expensive and you should deal with that. So that's the question about source selector switches. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.